hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Eberichi Igwe Obona and on today's video I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful Igbo Madame George using Igbo Madame blouse using Indian George of course you can be able to create this using different kinds of luxury fabrics so the very very first thing you're going to do is that you're going to cut the blouse so it's like a normal bustier I'm going to put my video link for sewing a normal bustier you cut your doll face and then you also cut the net panel that comes with the lace itself so you have to cut both of them the same way so you place all the nets each each net on each doll face then with the padding and everything then you couple it because i don't like that raw effect it gives when you don't place nets on top of the doll face i really don't like the raw effect so you cut out your panel this is a panel you cut it out from the one yard that they always add to the Indian George. You cut it out and place it the way you want it. Then you start pinning. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. This is very beginner friendly, especially if you already understand how to make a bustier blouse. So you can use this for different kinds of off shoulder, whatever it is you want. But the main thing is, I don't really like the whole fold effect that you get when you're done sewing the whole blouse. And uh, maybe you're done sewing it with um, you're done sewing it with a doll face, and then you carry the whole panel, like both the panel and the net. You carry them, and then you start dragging from one side. It would never relax, and the reason it would never relax is that your blouse is not straight. It's not flat. There's still that bust pushing it up. There are the side pieces, and you just don't you don't want to deal with all the all of that struggle. So to avoid that unnecessary struggle. I'd rather just, you know, after coupling the blouse with the net to give it a really lovely look, I just go ahead and pin it. So one thing about pinning too is that remember, your blouse is not straight. It has that cup thing. So you need it to relax very well. So for it to relax very well, you have to cut part of your panel without interrupting the design itself. Now look at the design very well. There are these ones that look like petals. You don't want to cut into the petals. You just want to cut the net area around that part. And then, you know, bend it and make it relax. And it's just, you see what I'm doing? So you're just making different modifications so that it actually suits the bust area. Because you wouldn't want to deal with uh, having a flat breast. The breast is dragging flat and all that. You still want to have the real full cupped effect. The real bustier effect. And uh, well, that's just about that. So you just go ahead and keep pinning. If you're not following us on Facebook, let's be friends on Facebook. My name on Facebook is Eberichi Igwe Owana. So you just send a friend request and we can be friends on Facebook. You can join my Facebook community where I share free fashion business tutorials, free sewing tutorials. Eric's Academy of Fashion on Facebook is a Facebook sewing group. So you can join that channel. So when you're eventually done with the whole pinning together, you're going to tack with invisible thread, making sure that your thread doesn't get on the part of your lining. I mean, it gives a very tacky finish seeing your thread, even if it's invisible on the part of your lining. So you just tack by, you pull the design, you pull your fabric without pulling the lining too, and then you just go ahead and tack it all through. And it gives a very beautiful effect so possibly in the subsequent videos I'm going to make I'm going to make a uh, very very close videos of the tacking process because from this angle I wouldn't be able to show my tacking process 
so that's it so you can just go ahead and watch the rest of the video watch as i pin it and do try out your own don't forget to tag me as a very cheeky gray on facebook when you do yours or you know instagram don't forget to follow us on instagram as eric's fashion follow our facebook sewing group eric's academy of fashion and see you in the next training video